In this video, we will go over absolute position in Figma and what are the top three reasons to use it. So what actually is absolute position? Well, it is a feature of Figma Auto Layout, which is a feature for building user interfaces within Figma. If you are new to Auto Layout and would like to learn more about it, definitely go and check out my channel. But in any case, uh, Auto Layout enables you to do things like this. Here we have a call to action uh, section and you can see that it has an auto layout enabled and when we copy the text that is here and we add new lines, you can see that uh, the overall size of, of this object is being updated. And this also means that if we add another button, for example, you will get the same behavior. So that's what uh, auto layout allows you to do. But uh, here is the problem, right? So imagine that you build a section like this, for example, for your website or your app, and now you need to use uh, certain photos as background graphics. So if you actually take a photo uh, and paste it into the auto layout, this is what happens. Uh, because auto layout is a feature that automatically arranges your objects, this photo gets, you know, pasted right here and all this, the whole section is essentially too large now, right? So you don't really want this to happen. And that is exactly what absolute position is for. So let me, uh, once again, I'm gonna paste that right here and then I'm gonna go over to the design panel on the right side and I'm gonna click this little icon and I'm gonna enable that. So what happens right now is you can see that this photo is now placed within the call to action section, but it's not affecting the overall size of the section and you can position it anywhere within the layout, right? So I can, for example, move it here and then when I want to kind of prevent the image going out of out of the frame I'm going to select the whole section and then select clip content right here right so you can immediately see how this section of a website becomes instantly more interesting with with these new background photos right so again I'm gonna enable clip content and yeah, you can position that anywhere you'd like. And also um, now if you actually resize this, maybe you don't want this to happen and you want this image to be constrained to the right side. And since absolute position objects within an auto layout work similarly to regular objects in a regular frame, you're able to set constraints. And I'm gonna do that by going over here and then changing the constraints to right and top. And similarly here, I'm gonna set the constraints to left and bottom. So now when I resize this section, it's also responsive along with the photos that we have used as well, right? So that's reason number one. You're easily able to include background graphics in your auto layouts. Reason number two is edge or overlapping elements in your user interfaces. So here we have a module that says by now, it's some kind of, again, call to action where you can add your item to cart or just order something. And here we have a badge that says most popular. So maybe you, you will have like multiple of these, right? You will have more of these with different prices, right? And maybe you wanna highlight, you know, the middle one, that's usually the case, but you want this to be also within the auto layout because you want to be able to easily add stuff, right? And also I'm gonna set this at content so that it actually happens, right? So you wanna be able to do this, but at the same time, you wanna have this badge within that auto layout, but placed right here, right? I'm gonna do that by again, command X and command V into the auto layout. I'm gonna position it right here and I'm gonna again go to absolute position, align that to the top and move it outside of the frame just by, because the top half is gonna go outside the frame and then also the constraints are gonna go to center and top, right? And maybe I wanna also add a stroke with the same color, right? So that this is now highlighted. So this means I can easily add more objects. I can, for example, add a description, but um, this badge stays at the top even when I do this, for example, or this. So that's the reason number two why you should use absolute position in your auto layouts. And the reason number three, it's faster and simpler. So if you have used auto layout previously before there was this Figma feature, this absolute position feature, uh, it was way, way harder to achieve something like this, right? 
it was really way more complicated. There were a couple of workarounds, but uh, this is just absolutely, definitely easier. So you have to start using it, right? If you want to be more efficient, that is. And to just prove my point, I'm gonna try and recreate this without using the absolute position feature. So let me copy this. And now let me actually um, disable the absolute position for this element, right? So this is what we get. So now what we need to do is add this to a frame, right? So command option G, so that we have a frame within which is, you know, this, this badge. Then what you wanna do is move that, move that over here, right? And then I'm gonna just select the most popular badge and I'm gonna move it outside of the frame. So basically we have achieved the same result. But at the same time, the space here is too large. So we need to just go over here and adjust the top margin, right? I'm gonna reduce uh, the top padding. I'm gonna reduce that to 20 and then I have to go back here again and adjust the position of this. And then what happens when I resize this object is this essentially, right? which I don't want that to happen. So what I need to do now is another workaround. I'm gonna select all these three, add them to another auto layout, set this auto layout to fill container, and now it stays in the same place. I can now change the position of these objects, you know, change the alignment of the auto layout. And again, I have to again adjust the position of the badge. And now finally, after all these things that I have just showed you, we get a similar behavior to this. The difference is it took way more time and the structure of this, of this object is now way more complicated. And that's the third and final reason why you should use absolute position in your Figma designs. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if this video was useful and I will see you in the next one.